Hey everybody, Bill Stainton here with Producing Results. It's the first video of a brand new year. And my question to you as we start off this year is, what's going to hold you back from producing the results that you want to produce this year? Hopefully nothing, but if you're like most people, it comes down to two words, perceived obstacles. Now notice I said perceived obstacles. See, it turns out that most of the things that we think are obstacles don't really have to be obstacles at all. Let me give you an example. Last night, I attended uh, an incredible performance of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony by the Seattle Symphony Orchestra. Man, this is... Now, you know I'm a rock and roll guy, but Beethoven's Ninth Symphony is probably the greatest single piece of music ever, uh, ever written. And this was an amazing performance. By the way, if you want to get an absolute killer recording of Beethoven's Ninth, get the Beethoven Symphonies by John Elliott Gardner. They're absolutely magnificent. Anyway, I saw this, this performance, and it was stunning. I mean, it's a stunning piece of work. You probably know the end of it, the Ode to Joy. Da, 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 da. Okay, excuse the singing. But here's the thing, and you probably know this already, but do you know that Beethoven was practically deaf when he wrote this? But virtually completely deaf when he wrote arguably the greatest piece of music ever written. Now, that's an obstacle. If you're a composer, being deaf, that's kind of an obstacle. Now, Beethoven could have very easily said, well... I'm deaf now, I guess that's it for my composing. He would have said it in German, of course, but I don't speak German. I'm busy. So I speak a little German. So Beethoven could have said that, and we wouldn't have Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. But instead, and to be honest, he did have those thoughts. He got depressed, he got very upset about it. But despite having those thoughts, despite having those misgivings, despite having that despair that he very famously had, he went ahead and, and kept on composing. He came up with his greatest work at that point. So what's your excuse? What's your big obstacle? You're too short, you're too tall, you're too fat. You don't have enough education, you have too much education. You don't know how to build a website. What's your big obstacle? Beethoven was deaf and he wrote the freaking Ninth Symphony. What's your obstacle? I think if you really look at it, you'll find it's a perceived obstacle. Most of the obstacles that stop us from producing the results we want to produce are really easily surmountable if we just put a little bit of effort into it. So that's my challenge to you for this year. Think about what's holding you back and then think again, is that really an insurmountable obstacle? My guess is that you're going to find out that it's not. So the challenge is surmount that obstacle and make this a great year, produce great results starting today.